Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Sunday and I have a sheepy day off and Emma has a sheepy day off because Kenzie is covering Sundays and we don't have anything complex to do with the sheep today since so his first official Sunday being in charge. So he's gone off this morning to defrost all the waters to make sure everyone's fed and to give Autumn, no, Maggie, her pain relief. Um, it's just oral and you can put it in her food so it's not injections. Um, I'm going to show you uh, Gloria, she's looking a lot perkier. The noise you can hear is one of the heaters I've got in here because it's been like minus seven, minus four, fluctuating around there in temperature um, around here during the night and then sort of been maybe a couple of degrees during the day in the sunlight. Not in the sunlight, it's still very freezing. <laughs> so there's a lot of frost everywhere. Um, I'm spending the day in my pyjamas and doing nothing else except for wrapping Christmas presents and uh, putting up Christmas decorations on the Christmas tree. That is my plan for today. And all of that will be done in my pyjamas because I have no reason to get dressed. And I'm just gonna lounge and relax. Um, I do have course information comes through. I am doing a level three in farm animal, sheep mainly, uh, care. So, um, in fact, I think the, the course is tailored for sheep, if I remember rightly. It does cover medication and all sorts of other things. So I'm gonna have a little flick through that because that's gonna be something I'll be doing over the next year. Um, it doesn't have a time limit on it, but I wanna get it done, you know, sooner rather than later. Uh, I have a pain right to my back here. Can I breathe? It's not very comfortable. Um, but I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and some breakfast, I think, and start my day. Gloria is looking much happier. She's still a very scruffy chicken. But she's definitely looking much better than she was. She doesn't make too much mess. Spends most of her time in there, to be honest. Doors open, but you just get the odd little bit of poo on the floor down here. She doesn't seem to go very far. Is this a cat doing what cats do best? Yeah. Oh, you're using a keyboard, so I'll come and annoy you because that would be the best. Oh, and then I'll stick my bum in your face because that's the other what, thing what cats like to do. What she tends to do is if you're stroking her with one hand and then using the keyboard with your other hand, mm. she'll then turn around and she'll be bunt, 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 and she wants both your hands. Yeah, because they're demanding little watsits. She could come over and see me, but she wants Lee because Lee's busy doing something. Isn't that right? Meow. It's like they know. Well, where is the most irritating and annoying spot to sit? Right here on the laptop. I'll just park my bum right here. I'm refusing to get out of bed. <clears throat> oh, got a dog. Got a dog. I think he's missing something with his head. He is, I'm sure you'll get that at some point. Probably a hazmat suit or something. Yes. Dog. Was that yesterday's? It was yesterday's. Because you're a day behind, aren't you? Uh, and then 11. And 11. Yeah, it's hazmat suit. Very cool. I have got my butt out of my bed where I've been editing for the last several hours. And I have been very productive and I've got lots of videos scheduled to go up on... Uh, the you talk channel but now it's christmas tree time and christmas decoration time where have i put it all the rats have taken the insult just a little bit further this year and they have weed all over the christmas box and they have been in this hat which is going to have to go in the bin now because it absolutely stinks of wee i might be able to wash this nice bunting and save it in the washing machine but that is just full of we our dancing christmas hat so that's gonna go and then i'm gonna have to go through that bag and probably bin the tinsel and stuff because it's all stinking of rat wee there will be no tinsel tat on our tree this year because all of this stinks of rat wee so the whole bag is going in the bin i'm going to try and wash those the rest tinsel can go in the bin Ugh. I absolutely hate rats. 
every year they just try and make things worse in that loft, no matter what I do. Does not smell very pleasant at all. That's going straight out the back door. Time to make a start on the Christmas tree. Salem, have you ever seen a Christmas tree? I'm assuming you were, I think she was born September. She must have had a family at one point because she looks about, she looked about a year old when we got her. Right, let's spread these bits out. Kenzie's going to put music on. Um, these have got more realistic tips and all the bulbs attached. And then in here is the padding out, which is, um, you know, cheaper type of stuff, you know, fake tree. But the ends have got really nice, realistic ends to them. I had a moment of panic because I plugged it into the wall and none of the lights came on. But you have to have all three parts attached to complete the circuit. So now what we have to do is spread out the branches and fluffify it and then add decorations. lights well not very twinkly they can be twinkly if I put them in twinkly mode beautiful Christmas tree letters for each of our names Pokemon ball that the boys made, one of them made, I think it was Kenzie. Birth balls. Lee's decoration that he made, all through the channels. Decoration that I bought last year. Do you remember everything that went on in 2020? about the people we all lost. These are my Harry Potter candles. And this is my little tree. I just love. It's not very clear at the moment. But it tends to hang over Lee's dad. He has a bit of a Christmas too. Good evening. It's eight o'clock and I've just put the kettle on for a cup of tea. That is what you can hear in the background. And I realised I hadn't said goodbye to the vlog. Um, and I haven't done the calendar either. Now I think we're on the 11th. And I don't think I've done the 10th either because yesterday we were... That was it. Yesterday we were dealing with the sheep event and I ended up not doing the calendar. So... What do you want to guess number 10 is down here? A British bird. I am going to go with Robin, because eventually there will be a Robin. What are you going to guess? You guessed? <laughs> totally wrong. Red-legged partridge. I do actually have a story about a red-legged partridge, 
we went all the way to a car museum for Lee and the boys and then I wanted to go to Stratford-upon-Avon because it was literally just down the road and we got there, we parked the car, we walked down to the River Thames, no River Avon, um, into this big park area and there was a bird and the bird was just looking very miserable when it was paddling and I was looking at it and I went I don't think that's a water bird and so we it managed to it was like coming towards us for help we managed to scoop it out of the water and stood it on the floor and it just went all floppy and couldn't bear its own weight and it didn't have webbed feet and I thought no this is not a water bird so I tucked it in a jumper and carried it all the way back to the car park through the town that's as that was all I'd seen in Stratford upon Avon that was it and then we drove down the motorway, which is about an hour, and um, went to take it to Tiggy Winkles, but halfway down the journey it obviously got its energy back and it also warmed up and uh, dried out a bit and decided to fly from the back seat across the seats and into the front and do the rest of the journey down the M40 on the uh, front console of the, of the car. That was an interesting trip and absolutely, yeah, it sticks in my head. So that was my, that's my story about a red-legged partridge. Okay, so number 11. Did any of you guess red-legged partridge? Let's see, number 11. Oh, that's down here too. What are you going to guess? What are you going to guess? I'm going to go with starling. Anyone thinking of anything? Would you like to share it? You could write it in the comments if you like. Ready? Oh, no. A siskin. They're very small, if I remember right. Uh, I think I've seen one. They don't come onto my bird feed or anything like that. I do think I've seen one. Right. Let's put that there. Tomorrow um, is my day off, but Emma and I are going to have a bit of a meeting for an hour um, to go through some more paperwork that we were going through. We also need to give Maggie a bit of a haircut because, well, she's looking very scruffy, which is fine. But when they went out and we put them out for those few days, they got wet and she's not drying off properly. And in this feather, that's not good, but they go a bit sweaty. And so every time you touch her, she just feels damp. Um, so we're going to give her a bit of a reverse Mohican, which was advised to us by the vet. But I think we're also just going to generally trim her up and under her neck because that's quite matted under there. Um, and give her a little bit of TLC. She's coming along brilliantly, by the way. The update on Maggie is that she is doing so much better in the cast and she's actually weight bearing on it. And she's, we've caught her with her front feet on top of the hay bale in her stable. Um, so yeah, we are going to check the cast Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve when the vet comes and we will recast it but we're just going to check and see how it's doing um fingers crossed everything crossed but she's definitely more herself which is encouraging anyway i'm gonna go make that tea and i'll see you lovely lot tomorrow thanks for watching <laughs>